Hello, my dear friends, and welcome to Storytime with Mrs. Simmons. Today's book is a favorite of mine, especially around Easter time. It's called Honey Bunny, Funny Bunny by Marilyn Sadler, illustrated by Roger Bolin. Honey Bunny, Funny Bunny had a big brother. His name was PJ Funny Bunny. PJ Funny Bunny loved Honey Bunny Funny Bunny very much, but he liked to tease her. Every morning, PJ pulled the covers off Honey Bunny's bed. Oh dear. And sometimes he poured orange juice on her cornflakes and he liked to tie knots in the sleeves of her pretty dresses. He poured blue paint in her yellow paint jar and yellow paint in her blue paint jar. He even switched the heads on her dolls. Oh dear, look at those dolls. And every night at the dinner table, PJ smashed mashed carrots on poor Honey Bunny's head. After dinner, he put her favorite Fuzzy Bunny blanket in the freezer. And at bedtime, he hid under her bed and yelled, Boo! At least PJ can't bother me while I'm sleeping said Honey Bunny, Funny Bunny. Then, one night, while Honey Bunny was fast asleep, PJ painted her face bright green. Oh my goodness. Mom! cried Honey Bunny in the morning. Look what PJ did! Oh boy. Mr. Honey Bunny was very angry. He sent PJ to his room. You're a very bad bunny, Mrs. Funny Bunny said. After that, things were different at the Funny Bunny house. Honey Bunny had her cornflakes with milk. Her pretty dresses stayed nice and pretty. With her blue and yellow paints, she painted big yellow suns in blue skies. Honey Bunny's dollies kept their own heads. <laughs> PJ Funny Bunny had stopped teasing Honey Bunny Funny Bunny. Oh dear, look at her face. Does she look happy? At first, Honey Bunny was very happy. But after a while, she began to feel like something was missing. Where's PJ? She asked her mother one day. Oh, he's gone out to play with his friends, said Mrs. Funny Bunny. Honey Bunny sat down by the window. She did not want to paint. She did not want to play with dollies. She did not even want to play with her friends. So she sat and sat and waited for PJ to come home. Finally, PJ came up the walk. Hi, PJ, said Honey Bunny, Funny Bunny. Oh, but PJ, Funny Bunny, went right past Honey Bunny. Aww. That night at dinner, PJ sat and ate his mashed carrots. Honey Bunny just stared at hers. 
When it was time for bed, Honey Bunny's fuzzy bunny blanket was soft and warm, but Honey Bunny did not care. Honey Bunny looked under her bed. No PJ, no boo! The next morning, PJ did not pull the covers off Honey Bunny's bed. Honey Bunny was as sad as sad could be. Mom, she cried, PJ doesn't love me anymore. Oh, poor Honey Bunny, Funny Bunny. But Mrs. Funny Bunny looked at Honey Bunny and then she smiled. Oh, yes, he does, she said. Come with me. Mrs. Funny Bunny took Honey Bunny into the bathroom. She lifted her up in front of the mirror. Honey Bunny could not believe her eyes. Her face was painted blue with yellow polka dots. PJ loves me, she cried. Honey Bunny Funny Bunny was very happy. She ran to PJ's room. PJ Funny Bunny, you are the best brother a bunny could ever have, said Honey Bunny Funny Bunny. And she gave him a great big fuzzy bunny hug. The end. I hope you liked the story, my dear friends.